Hey everybody, welcome to Dave TV. Oh, I just jumped up there, popped my knee. Oh. Uh, how y'all doing everybody? Dave TV here on DCRTV.com. How y'all doing? Uh, it's Monday, Monday, Monday. The, um, is that enough light? No, it's got a 25 watt bulb in there. Uh, tw it's Monday, the 30th of July, 2011. Got to keep it short today. Really go fast, fast, fast. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Uh, I just love it. You know, uh, last Thursday, Thursday, okay, WJFK was at a Redskins press conference with Robert Griffin III, RG3, the new superstar player, and they were ready to uh, broadcast the press conference live as some of the other stations were doing in the market, and they were told by a Redskins PR official dude not to do it. Literally, that it would, you know, they, they get the Redskins would get really mad if they broadcast it live. So the the game, you know, the uh, press conference was broadcast live by some TV stations and by W T E M E S P N 980, which is owned by the Redskins owner Dan Snyder. And granted, yeah, you get mad at that, you know, well, that's not fair. You know, I, I first off, I've I've said, I've always said the FCC should make a law saying that local sports teams should not be able to own local radio stations that uh, that carry the team. You know, I mean, I don't mind Dan Snyder owning an oldie station here in Washington or, you know, whatever, but he should not own a sports talker that carries his own team. I don't know. I just think that that's too much of a concentration of power. If Dan Snyder wants to own sports talkers in other markets that don't have, that he doesn't own a local team in, that's fine. But I just, I always thought if I was the FCC head, I would say, no, if you own a sports team in a market, you can't own the radio station or a TV station that carries that team, okay? It's just too much of a concentration of power, and it leads to stuff like what happened last week when you have the Redskins PR guy not allowing a station that competes with his owner's team, with Dan Snyder's station, can't run the team, whatever. Anyhow, blah, 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 blah. We reported that on Friday. It happened on Thursday. We reported it on Friday. And the Washington Post today... Monday gets it on the Dan Steinberg sports blog there, of course, with no reference that DCRTV broke the story or first reported the story or whatever on Friday. But that's okay. What the hell? You know, we don't expect that from the Post. The Post doesn't like to tell where it gets its news. You know, oh, we got ideas. They go, they go, you know, trolling around the Internet to all these slimy sites like DCRTV. And, oh, look at that story. Then they wait a couple days and then just run it like they just stumbled upon it. Well, they got it five days after the fact. Shame on the Washington Post. Um, but anyhow, I, I, one thing I did want to mention, a certain WJFK uh, official, a program director over there, I believe he is, uh, when he talks to me, it's always off the record. No, don't, don't quote me. But when he talks to the Post... They can use his name. <laughs> Why? <laughs> yeah, I see his name all over that post article today on Dan Snyder's sports blog. I'm like, okay, he said the same thing to me a couple days ago, but, you know, I just have to run a WJFK source. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Could Bailey be leaving uh, DC 101? We're hearing rumblings that uh, Clear Channel DC, CCDC, has a Help Wanted ad out for its midday slot, so maybe Bailey's moving on, or maybe she's moving to another slot at the station. Who knows? I like Bailey. I, as I said over the weekend on my Facebook page, I really like DC 101. They have a really good mix of stuff. They mix it all up, and I like that. You know, they'll be playing some, you know, obscure alternative stuff, some classic alternative, mix in some classic rock uh, play some a little heavy metal throw. It's just a really good mix of all over the place. And that's what I said. You know, with 105.9, The Edge started up a couple years ago and went belly up over the spring, or the fall of last year. They sh they didn't mix it up enough. you got to mix it up. Deep cuts, lots of cool stuff. All these genres, give it a big variety, you know. And that's what DC 101 does, and I like them. Okay? Don't say I don't like anything. I'm always criticizing things. But uh, I like DC 101. I do like them. I think they're, they're sounding better and better and better. So there. Um, what's the other big news I wanted to tell you about? Brian Neiman uh, wasn't on the uh, WMAL morning show today. They had uh, Tori, I always think Tori Spelling. <laughs> Tori Clark, I think her name is. 
Uh, I like Tori Clark. Again, I don't agree with Tori Clark, but she's a classy conservative, and she's a real conservative. And, you know, whether you like Brian Wilson or not, he's a real conservative. You know, he really is. The one thing that drives me a little bit crazy about Brian Neiman is I just don't think he's a real conservative. I think he's just playing one on the radio to keep his job. I really do. You know, when he was with Andy and Grandy back in the couple years ago, he was always kind of the... They were both conservatives, and he was kind of like a liberal kind of mixed in there, kind of, you know, throwing things at him, which was a good mix. It worked well. But um, I just can't. He, he does his things where he says stuff and he criticizes Obama, and I say, Brian, Brian, that's with a Y, Neiman. I say, Brian, 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 no, you drive me crazy. <sighs> you know, in a weird way, uh, I like Brian Neiman a lot because I, I think he's a liberal. But uh, I think it would be a better morning show with Tory Clark and uh, Brian Wilson. I really do. It just sounds better. The male-female mix sounds better. They both are people that at least if you disagree with them, you disagree with them. But at least they seem committed to what they believe in. You know, they're not just doing an act for the radio like I do. Mm. All right, folks. I said I'm going to keep it short. and Darn golly, I am. Don't forget, 15th anniversary of DCRGV coming up really soon. So, uh, send us money, big piles of money. You know, if all the money you got, empty your bank account, send it to me, okay? Put it on PayPal, send us a check in the mail. Uh, that would be so great, okay? $15 gets you a year of DCRGV Plus, our special. Uh, $30 gets you two, $45 gets you three. Uh, send me $300 and I'll give you 10, or wait, 20. Send me $300 and I'll give you 20. Years of DZRDV Plus. Send me $150, I'll give you a 10. Send me $3,000, and I'll give you 200 years. I don't know, something like that. Anyhow, thanks for watching Dave TV. Uh, so, there.